Auto Pickup Weapons is a convenient setting in Fortnite that automatically collects weapons when you walk over them, eliminating the need to manually press the pickup button every time. The system intelligently manages your inventory by prioritizing weapon rarity. It automatically replaces lower tier weapons with higher tier ones, following the rarity hierarchy from common all the way up to mythic weapons. When you walk over a better weapon, the system automatically replaces your current weapon with the higher tier one. For example, if you have a common assault rifle and walk over a rare assault rifle, it will automatically swap them for you. This feature works seamlessly across all platforms, including PC, PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, and mobile devices. It's compatible with every game mode, Battle Royale, Creative, and Save the World. The feature is enabled by default for new players to help them get started more easily. Normally, you would need to press a button like E on PC to manually pick up weapons. With Auto Pickup enabled, simply walking over a weapon will automatically add it to your inventory, making gameplay much more fluid and efficient. There are two ways to enable or disable Auto Pickup weapons in Fortnite. The first method is through in-game settings while you're playing. Once you press the menu button, you'll see the settings menu. Look for the gear icon to access your game settings. Navigate to the game tab in the settings menu. This is where you'll find all the gameplay related options, including auto pickup weapons. Scroll down to find the auto pickup weapons option. You can toggle this setting on or off depending on your preference. The toggle switch will show you the current state. The second method is to change this setting from the main lobby before entering a match. The process is identical. Just access settings, then game, then auto pickup weapons. Remember, any changes you make to the auto pickup weapons setting will apply immediately to all your future matches. You don't need to restart the game for the changes to take effect.